Hi John, well you can see we've had uh, a fairly big push on yours now and uh, got the engine and transmission out yesterday uh, which is over there on a stand, separated the uh, transmission clutch flywheel. Um, haven't had a quick look at the clutch, it seems to be okay but I must admit you wonder don't you what whilst it's all apart whether it's prudent just to put another one in. Uh, the thrust bearing was very very noisy so at least that warrant replacing at the very least. Uh, walking around the chassis and having a, a closer look at that now that it's all cleaned. We spent a couple of hours steam cleaning all this yesterday. Uh, again, you know, all the front end looks, looks quite nice, very nice in fact. You know, no, no nasties around the front frame horns. They normally suffer very badly. Uh, doesn't appear to be any cracking around the the frame there either which is a, a good sign um, but when you move further towards the rear it tells a very different story sadly the um, the battery tray has rusted out in this corner uh, but you know that's no biggie um, as you move further rearward where those uh, gussets have been welded in um, and no drain holes have been made you can see it's really uh, suffered very very badly in these corners and is through uh, on that side rail and on the rear cross member. So once we've got all the uh, mechanical stripped out of this, we'll turn the chassis over and cut these gussets off uh, so that when it goes for the sandblasting, he can hit in there really hard and show us how, how far it extends. Um, I think we'll be replacing a, a, a corner in that, um, uh, in that rear cross member there and probably the entire inner frame rail. There's been a bit of repair or, or a bit of rust plated over on the outer frame rail as well. Uh, no, sorry, I'm thinking of the other side. Let me go over there. So, uh, we'll see how thin uh, the metal is there and deal with that as necessary. But we've got the same story on this side. You know, it's bad in that rear cross member and in the side rail. So, um, this job is not before time, you know. But it looks quite good around the trailing arm pockets and they normally suffer very badly so you know it's kind of uh, mixed blessings I guess. But uh, yeah other than that it's all, all going okay. So today I'm going to get the front and rear suspension out and, and well hopefully by the end of the day and have this as a, as a bare frame. Um, we'll then start stripping out the ancillaries, the uh, one prop shaft UJ felt a bit notchy when it came out, so we'll we'll replace both of those, uh, and we'll we'll assess drive shaft UJs when they come out. You know, we'll have a look inside the diff. Um, I'll talk to you about rear wheel bearings. I personally, I think it's prudent to do them now whilst it's all apart, and just you know suffer a little bit of expense now, and know that you've got new new rear wheel bearings uh, all in place and. Uh, you know, years of trouble free. So there you go. We'll 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 press on, and uh, I'll get bit, you know more bits of film as we move on.